Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie, and in this video we're gonna learn JSON. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It's a syntax for storing and exchanging data. JSON is text written in JavaScript Object Notation. And JSON data is the easiest to convert to JavaScript objects. Because JSON, as you can see here under JSON syntax, is written in JavaScript object notation. So when we have content which is formatted in JSON, we can convert it back into JavaScript object using just one single function. And that's why JSON is the best when working with JavaScript. So in the previous video, we learned about AJAX and how it stands for asynchronous JavaScript and XML. But you can also think of AJAX as asynchronous JavaScript and JSON. So here we have a user requesting index.php page and the server responding with content type text HTML. And now that we are on index page, we're gonna make an AJAX request using the XML HTTP request object. But this time we're gonna request a file called games.json, which will have this JSON content on it. And then we're gonna get a response back from the server in the content type of application JSON. And then instead of sending the content back to the index page, we're gonna capture it in our JavaScript application so that we can modify it, format it, and then send it back to the index page. All right, now let's take a closer look at JSON syntax. So you can see that the data is in name, column, value pairs. So the name is a title, then a column, and then you have a value which is Witcher 3. The data is separated by commas, so you can see that all the name value pairs are separated by commas, all the objects separated by commas, and the curly braces hold objects. So I've highlighted all the objects that have curly braces in yellow. So first we have the main object, which encapsulates the whole thing. And inside of this object, we have an array named games, which is highlighted in pink. And you can see that this array has uh, square brackets. So square brackets hold arrays. And inside of the games array, we have three objects each with a different title, genre, and developer, describing video games. All right, so now that we understand what JSON is, let's do some coding. So I've gone ahead and created games.json file with the content in JavaScript object notation that we just went over. So you guys can go ahead and type this up, or you can go ahead and copy and paste it from the description of this video. And I've also created index.php file with HTML body and the div tag with an ID content. So you can go ahead and type this up also because we're gonna be updating the inner HTML of this div tag. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open Firefox and I'm using Firefox for developers. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the menu and go to web developer and open up the web console. And we're gonna be using this web console because it makes it a lot easier to debug JavaScript. So the first thing that we're gonna do is create the XML HTTP request object. And again, this is what it looks like. So first we're gonna create the instance of the HTTP request object. And once we have access to the object, we're gonna use method open and send to get our JSON content. And then after we've sent the request, we're gonna access the response text property, which is gonna have our JSON content. All right, so let's go ahead and create the instance of the object first. new XML HTTP request. And uh, if you're using this console, you can hold down shift and press enter so the code doesn't get executed. Then you can use XML HTTP open and we're gonna be using the get method and the name of our page is games.json and we're gonna send the asynchronous to true this time. Then I'm gonna hold down the shift and press enter again and use the method send to send the actual request. And now I'm gonna press enter without the shift to execute all the code. Okay, at this time we should have access to response text. So we can use a function called console.log and we can see what's inside of our XML HTTP response text. All right, so this is what our XML HTTP response text 
valley looks like and you can see that we have our JSON content inside of the response text now let's go ahead and select the div element with the ID content and here if we look on the DOM chart again here's how we accessing the element we're gonna use document object and use the method get element by ID provide the content which is the ID of the element and then access its inner HTML property to set the text to whatever we like okay so var element equals document get element by ID content that selects our element and now we can set the elements inner HTML to our response text actually XML HTTP response text like this oops misspelled element element all right so you can see that it has set the inner HTML of our div element to the JSON content all right so the whole point of JSON is for us to be able to easily convert it into a JavaScript object so that we can work with it inside of our JavaScript application environment and so the way to convert JSON text into a JavaScript object is we can create a new variable called object and then we're gonna use JSON object and use method parse and provide the actual JSON content which is inside of our XML HTTP response text and that's how easy it is to create an object out of the JSON content so that we can say console log object and now you can see that we actually have an object and if you guys are using this console you can go ahead and expand the object and see what's inside of it and you can see that we have all of our content here so we have the main object we have an array games and inside of the array games we have three objects which are accessed through keys 0 1 and 2 and they all have their name and value pairs and we can start working with this object we can start looping through it we can start accessing individual values etc but first let's try to print this object inside of our divs inner HTML so we can say element inner HTML equals object so you can see that this doesn't work it just says object here because you can't just print out the object directly so we actually need to access one of the objects individual values and the way we do this is we can say object dot games which is our array and then we would specify one of the keys which is 0 1 or 2 so you can say 0 which will be our first object and then dot title and then we'll set it to Witcher 3 because we have a title Witcher 3 under our first object and there you go it's set it to Witcher 3 and that's how you can access all the individual values inside of our object you can say something like let's do a concatenation here with a plus you can say developer object games zero developer okay so you can do all kinds of concatenations and access all the individual values in this way you get the idea just remember that you cannot directly access the object in this way if we wanted to see what's inside the object for debugging purposes we can either use console.log object and then look at the object in this way but if we wanted to print the contents of the object directly on our inner HTML we can do this by saying element inner HTML equals object and now we can use a function called to source to see the source of the object and that will convert it back into text so we can do that for debugging purposes also if we wanted to convert our object back into text we can do so by saying JSON stringify 
and then provide the name of our object, which is object null and four, and that will convert it back into JSON. So now if we type console.log text, you can see that now it's printing out our content in JavaScript object notation format, JSON. And that's it for this JSON tutorial for beginners video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.